For outstanding environmental achievement for North America, the 2017 Goldman Environmental Prize is awarded to Mark Lopez, Los Angeles, California. Thank y'all. First off, I would like to recognize the Muwekma Ohlone people, who are the indigenous peoples of the San Francisco Bay Area. And the Tongva Gabrielino, who are the indigenous people of the Los Angeles area. I would like to recognize my grandmother, Juana Beatriz Gutierrez, my mother, Elsa Lopez, and all the Madres de Leste Los Angeles, Santa Isabel, who taught me to love my community long before I became a father. I would also like to recognize my partner, Dr. Floriboch Lopez, and our daughters, Chole and Luna, who are here with us tonight. For, um, for filling me with the love that sustains my contributions to our communities. I love you. My earliest memories are in the movement. Building community is our culture. From ancestral homelands to East LA, we participate in community by contributing to our communities. Our ethics of collectivism, cooperation, and humble dignity are how we build movement, how we defend our communities, how we create vision and turn our wildest dreams of justice and love into realities in our homes, on our blocks, and in our barrios. I am grateful to be able to build community with the East Yard Communities for Environmental Justice movement, a political home where these ethics are a daily practice. Nothing is possible with an individual. Everything is possible with community. In community, we'll continue to defend East LA and Southeast LA from the exile led still in countless homes and the agencies that fail us. We will continue building the struggle against the Tesoro oil refinery impacting West Long Beach and threatening to become the West Coast's largest oil refinery by processing tar sands. We will continue building the struggle against incinerators in Long Beach, Commerce, and Stanislaus, California, who are in Sacramento this very moment, resting their heads after a long day of lobbying, pretending that burning trash in our communities is the same as solar and wind power. And finally, to all my people out there in La Lucha, especially the young folks up top, whether you feel alone as Movimiento builds inside of you, whether you recognize it yet or not, or if you're already building with your squad, the struggle you start today is a struggle our babies don't have to start tomorrow. I know this because I've lived this. A long time ago, my grandma said, the politicians thought we wouldn't fight, but we united and said, ya basta, enough, this is a dumping ground no more. The kids around here were babies when we started. Now they will fight for what they believe in because we showed them <laughs> their voices count. Así es, grandma, la lucha sigue. <laughs> 